My first car and the namesake of my channel, here it is. The 2003 Toyota 4Runner SR5 4-wheel drive. So as you can see, it is in really good shape. Uh, the hood, the paint, everything looks good. Uh, there's, as you can see, a, a little scratch here. A uh, little, little bit of rust spots here and there. I mean, as to be expected, this car is uh, almost 17 years old at the time of this recording. Uh, coming around here, you got your third brake light, your washer head for your rear window, your rear windshield wiper here, and of course your Toyota logo. It says Toyota, and over here it says Forerunner. I'm deliberately not showing the license plate so I don't have to worry about editing that. Uh, more of the same on this side, you got your roof rack here, more windows, it says SR5 four wheel drive right here. The mirrors are power on both sides, so that's nice. Got your headlights, they're actually quite clear on this. Got your high beams, your low beams, and your parking lights up here. Down here this car does have the fog lights on it. Here is the fog light and there's the turn signal. And there's the grill and everything is the same on both sides. The rims on this thing are pretty wicked awesome. They are XD series rims. They are of course upgraded with a small lift and 285 70 R17 tires. In there it also does have Bilstein suspension. Let's go ahead and pop the hood here. It's just right there. Coming around the front, the hood release is just right here and open this up. So here it is, the 4 liter VVTi V6. It is, this engine has approximately 185,000 miles on it and it still runs quite well. It doesn't leak anything and it doesn't burn anything and it is really smooth and has a lot of power which I like. Uh, especially torque, so if you need to pull trailers or anything, that's good. Right here, of course, is the top of the engine. Got your three cylinders on this side, and you got your three cylinders on this side. The fan in there is driven by the belt off the engine because that's how they did it back then, along with the air conditioner, the alternator, the water pump and the power steering is also all driven off the engine. Right here is the air filter which comes through this big duct here. It sits on the side of the engine there. Got your oil dipstick and transmission dipstick back in there. So definitely don't have that today. Right here is your power steering fluid. Got your washer fluid, radiator cap. <coughs> Uh, extra coolant reservoir. Right here is the battery and there is your fuse box and then there is the separate fuse box for the trailer tow package that this car is also equipped with and I'll show you that in just a minute. There's the brake booster. Got your oil filter here and your oil cap and then in front of everything right there are the horns Got your hood latch and a valve for the refrigerant for the air conditioning system. So the engine is actually sitting this way. You're looking straight at the V in the V6. And of course it is would be rear wheel drive, but this one is also equipped with four wheel drive. So it's sitting like that. This vehicle was also offered with a 4.7 liter V8. So what is nice about that is, is that given that this car has the smaller engine on it, you have absolutely tons of space. I mean, there's all your spark plugs and all your spark plugs on this side. 
all really easy to get to. If you ever needed to do anything with this belt or anything, all you pretty much have to do is take this off, and that'd be about it. There is just some more information there, and there, another thing for the air conditioning service there, and that's about it down here. Oh yeah, I just love that there. So I did mention that it had the tow package that was optional, so right here is the hitch there. Um, spare tire is under the car there as well, and right there is your electrical connection for the hitch. It also has this nice chrome exhaust tip right there as well. It's just decorative, it still has the factory exhaust. This right here is just your gas cap, it's right in here and this closes. The release for it is inside the car so in closing that and locking the doors it is locked. And something else it also does have the standard key lock on your door there. Just one final thing to mention here this car does have disc brakes on all four wheels front and rear. That does stop quite well actually. So there you have it, the 2003 Toyota 4Runner SR5 4-wheel drive V6. I'll, on my next video I will show you the startup and the interior. So thank you for watching, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.